I truly believe that where we come from helps shape the way that we write and the interests that we do have. The things that we see every day, that we hear every day, that we do every day, uh, will greatly impact uh, how we perform as a band, as a cohesive unit, and uh, what we want to write. We, we see it uh, in, in different genres across the world. Norwegian black metal, Bay Area thrash, Florida death metal, New York death metal. And I really don't believe that we are any different. Being that we are from Houston and that the city's nickname is actually Space City, uh, we're home to Mission Control, uh, NASA's Mission Control. And given the city has such a strong identity uh, with the cosmos, with outer space, with exploring new frontiers, um, I felt it was uh, natural that uh, at some point we would have an uh, album out specifically dealing with space exploration. Most people will realize uh, that there is a lot of doom influence in our album. And this talk about where we're from and how it influences us, that may not always seem to match because Houston is a, kind of a borderline tropical city. Uh, it's hot and humid 10 months out of the year. There's palm trees and pine trees dotting the landscape. So at first glance, it might not make sense. However, uh, in 2017, uh, we as a city and as a band suffered through Hurricane Harvey. And Sean, our bassist, had his home flooded and he lost a lot of his stuff. And every time I am writing a Doom-inspired riff, Hurricane Harvey is always in the back of my mind because of what it did to our city and what it did to us as a band. I myself and my wife and our family were trapped in our house for eight days. Um, and it was a very difficult time for the city uh, but it was also a huge inspiration musically uh, for us as a band uh, in the doom that we try to capture. One of the things people will really notice about this city uh, if they come here is the incredible ethnic diversity that is here. It's not uncommon to go to the market or out for the evening and hear several different languages. Also, in the city, we have many different neighborhoods that cater to Nigerians, Pakistani, Vietnamese, Chinese, um, Mexicans, and Central Americans, among others. So the diversity is really a huge part of this city's identity. Above all else, Houston is a rap, hip-hop, and R&B-oriented city. Um, the amount of talent in those genres that has come from this city has been absolutely enormous. And that is great, but it makes it hard for the metal scene here to stand out. Um, it's going to be very important that we, as a metal community here in Houston, uh, raise the banner really high. Certain bands like Oceans of Slumber uh, have come out in the last five, six years, and they have really um, galvanized the progressive scene here, and they've played in Europe and we've played in other parts of the U.S., but it's going to be important also for other bands like Sleeping Ancient um, and ourselves uh, to be able to hold that banner high, support the scene, and really uh, make ourselves uh, known here in the, in the market. Another big part of it is going to be the lack of zoning. Things just don't uh, go where you might think they would. You can have a liquor store in the middle of a neighborhood of homes. You can have a high rise in the middle of a neighborhood of homes. And so that lack of zoning may seem chaotic. Uh, and it does, it takes a while to get used to for a lot of people, but it works together in perfect harmony for the city and those of us who live here. And we as a band draw a parallel to that because our influences are very different. Uh, but our goal is always to try to bring those musical differences together to create some sort of harmony for the sake of our music.